So let's do this. We've done an overview. We defined what art and science of selling is, right? And even brought it back to healthcare. Now I want to come back up again. So we went overview, right? I'm going to jump back in and probably dive a little deeper into that overview. And then we're going to get into the actual conversations and the where, right? And the how, as I like to say, the art of it. And we'll I'll make sure you understand the, right, the science of it too. So this is going to be fun. And if you stick along, stick along, whatever the fuck that means. If you come along this journey and do this in order, you will get far greater benefit out of this. I guarantee it. So it may seem like we're going high level and then into the weeds and then high level. That's the way I like to do it. You know, part of what I said last time is the art of selling is the how we say things. I think the other important thing to remember, it's the why we say it. Everybody wants the how and what of everything. And it's true, the definition still fits, but what they're missing is the why. Every time I come in to train a group, every single time, after about the second session, they're like, you know, all this stuff is great, but when are we gonna do the role playing? I'm like, we could have started the role playing three weeks ago could do it for two, three months and your team won't do it six months later because they won't understand the bigger picture. They won't understand why they're doing it this way. Okay. So we have the science side of selling, which is the, what we do. And then we have the art side, which is, I'm going to say now is the how and the why we're doing it. Okay. Now I want to go back. I want you to keep this stuff in mind because it is important as we go back up to a higher level. And what I want you to understand next, I talked about this in the overview is the three sales cycles within your patient client customer's journey within your healthcare practice. And by the way, healthcare practice, not just physio practice, this applies. Even if you're not selling plans of care, even if you're not trying to get people to agree to return visits, that's what we're doing, my friends in physio, um, it still fits. So it's the three sell cycle. We talked about this overlap. I talked about, right, that the flow of a business oversits the, your client, patient, customer's journey within your business, right? So I also talked about how there's a lot of overlap, how marketing and sales and retention are all occurring at the same time. Now, I want you to understand that the sales cycles don't stop, right? Meaning there is selling going on every step of the way on this journey. And what's important is to understand what are these three sales cycles. So I said the sell cycles never stop, but there are, right, stop and start points where one sell cycle ends and another one begins at the same time. And that's what I want to share with you today. The three cell cycles in your healthcare practice. And I am going to use physio as the primary example, but I promise you, no matter what your, what business you're in, what practice you're in, it still applies, right? So uh, this is again, the how, sorry, the what we have to do, right? This is the process. This is the science of selling. Right. So we're going to talk about the science side today. Right. When someone raises their hand and says, I need your help, that starts a sales journey within your business. There's a lot of work that goes on before that. And that's called marketing. And marketing is brand awareness. Mar marketing is not just lead generation, it's brand awareness. Right. So once someone raises their hand, once they call you, once they walk into your practice, once they receive a phone call from you and they're expecting it like a fax referral or something from another provider, once they go on your website and fill out a web form, once they request a call from you, the sales, first sell cycle in your client's journey within your business begins. Cell cycle number one is what I call the pre-arrival phase. This is that front desk stuff. The most important, biggest leverage cell cycle within your company. It is the entry point to your business. So much is made and lost here, right? Because when done properly, when we understand the process, when we understand this whole patient's journey within our business, right? 
the science side of it, we better understand and we see the true value of this pre-arrival cells cycle. Initial contact, so all those things I just said, until arrival, till they walk in your clinic. So in no way, shape, or form should you ever be telling someone they need to get someone scheduled. Scheduled is a step in the cells cycle, pre-arrival cell cycle. The goal of the pre-arrival phase is arrive and pay, right? So all the things we do during this cell cycle have to lead to arrive and pay. And the process is built out this way, okay? So that's cell cycle number one in your business. And the goal is arrive and pay, right? So this is the science of it all. And of course, the most important step is that initial contact, right? Which is that first, right, conversation. I love it. Let me use this example real quick. I don't want to get into the weeds too much on this because we will on future episodes. But when someone fills out a web form, that information they put on the web form is going to feed in to the start of that first cell cycle. So until you get that and respond to that, right, the cell cycle doesn't start, but yet it begins the journey. Okay. So the information you collect is very important to the art side of it, right? And this is what's great about understanding the difference between the science and the art, because there is business things you need to collect, but there is also, right, the art side of it, things that are important to the patient we need to collect, right? And that initial contact is the most important step in this, right? And there are objectives at each step of this to achieve that goal of arrive and pay. The second sales cycle in your business is that first visit with the provider, right? From the moment the provider greets that person or someone on your provider team greets that person, the second sales cycle begins. Now, what's interesting, that first sales cycle can be weeks, can be days, could be a month. Some people I'm dealing with right now, right? It's a month plus. So lots of points to leverage, right? The second cell cycle is the shortest. It is by far. And we must understand that. And again, if we understand this science of what we need to do, and then we understand this is short, we start to step back and go, shit, the how and the why of this just fucking changed, right? Right? Now you start to see how we put way too much on the providers in this very short cell cycle. The goal of this, the goal of this step in the cell cycle is to get an agreement on a plan. So the goal of cell cycle number one was arrive and pay. The goal of cell cycle number two is agreement to stay. Could be one visit could be 300 visits, right? And typically, what is it? 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, hour and a half. That's about the whole breadth of what I've heard this being. So when we go back and look at cell cycle number one, that can last days, weeks, right? Months. And everything we need to do in that to get arrive and pay and then we come back to cell cycle number two and go, wow, there's not a lot to leverage here. The only thing we have to leverage in that phase is the expert that we promised. So we must set that expert up for success. That's one of the objectives of cell cycle number one. So that when the person arrives, they get exactly what they thought they would and boom, we're done. No more, no less. Right? But again, it's not until we understand their full journey and that we're selling and where one cell cycle started and where the next one, right, where it ends and where the next one begins. So we got cell cycle number one, pre-arrival. We got cell cycle number two, which is arrival. Or no, 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 sorry, sorry. We got cell cycle number one, which is initial contact to arrival. Cell cycle number two, which is, I would say, evaluation slash consult slash assessment. The goal there is an agreed upon plan 
And then sell cycle number three is the completion of that plan. So we had arrive and pay. We had agreement to stay. Now we have completion, right, of the plan, stay. It's all about arrive, pay, and stay. So sell cycle number three is what I call the course of care, the course of the plan, and how we manage each and every step, every visit, to get a completion of the plan, which is the ultimate goal of that. So the arrive, pay, and stay, right? The stay is really a completed course of care, a completed plan. Now, the important things to remember here when we start to blur the line between science and art is, right, that the leverage is in step number one, right, to increase the likelihood of success in step number two, right, to increase the likelihood of success in step number three. And it all snowballs. It is literally a snowball. And just think about that snowball. And the bigger the snowball gets, it's the correlation, right, with increased likelihood of success of arrive, pay, and stay. So again, there's the science of it all, right? And then what we'll break down probably in the next episode or two is, right, how do we get this to happen? How do we achieve this goal? Why, right? Why do we put it together this way? Right? So you have three cell cycles in your healthcare practice. You must look at it this way. Initial contact to arrival, right? And the goal is arrive and pay. Then we have that short evaluation consult, cell cycle number two. The goal is agreed upon plan. That moves directly into cell cycle number three, the completed plan, arrive, pay, and stay. The three cell cycles in your healthcare practice. And yes, for all that work, for the programs, for whatever you do post course of care, at the end of someone's care, right? Course of care, right? Believe it or not, that bulk of that selling is going on during one, it increases in two and increases in three. So we could say there is a fourth cell cycle, but I'm like, man, by the time you get there, we'll say there's a fourth one. By the time we get there, the work is already done. It's a yes or a no. So those are the three primary cell cycles in your healthcare practice. All right. Awesome. We're going to keep building. Thanks again for your time and energy, my friends. And I will see and talk to you next week. Cheers.